Ozone, high in the Earth's atmosphere, protects us from the sun's harmful radiation. But ozone at ground level is air pollution and is harmful to people and plants. Ground level ozone can aggravate asthma, inflame and damage lungs, cause difficult or painful breathing, and make people more susceptible to other respiratory illnesses like bronchitis and pneumonia. Children, the elderly, and sick people are especially at risk. Ground level ozone is formed when pollution from vehicles, industry, and other sources react in sunlight on hot summer days when it can reach unhealthy levels. While ozone is a part of the brown smog layer in urban areas during hot weather, it can be present at unhealthy levels even when air is clear. But it's not just an urban problem. Winds carry polluted air, so ozone pollution is often worse in the rural foothills of the Cascades. Ecology and other clean air agencies measure ozone levels around the state. You can see current conditions on Ecology's website. When pollution rises on hot summer days, cut down on strenuous physical activity and stay indoors. To keep ozone levels down, don't drive unless you have to or combine your trips. Put off mowing the lawn until the hot spell is over, and don't fire up the barbecue or fire pit. Recent science shows that ozone pollution can harm your health at lower levels than previously thought. EPA set a new ozone standard that is more protective of human health. Washington now meets this ozone standard, and Ecology, local clean air agencies, and EPA are adopting plans to keep ozone in check. We want everyone to have healthy air to breathe. Working together, we can protect Washington's air.